Point that camera down so you can see that. This thing here, it about to puff all its own. Oh, oh boy. grill. Well, mm. oh my God, this is good. I'm hungry. And today, we're going to have a battle of the butts. Yes, sir, we are. All right. Each one's going to be cooked to a different smoker. And each one is going to be seasoned. And everything else is going to be done exactly the same. The only difference is one's going to be cooked to the big smoker. One's going to be cooked to the little smoker. All right. Other than that, identical. All right. So last time I looked, we had 30 subscribers. Thank you, you 30. If you haven't subscribed yet, like, comment, and subscribe. What's the matter with you? Come on, let's get this done. All right. So. Let me introduce you to my contenders. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Let's get ready to rumble. In the left corner, weighing in at 54 pounds, it provides us a 15 pound hopper. It's a 22 inch dome, stainless steel, awesome little bullseye. All right, in the right corner, we have the BFG. The BFG weighs in at 450 plus pounds, has a Bella's cold smoke generator. Hell, its hopper holds 53 pounds of pellets. What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? It could probably hold that bullseye in its hopper. Oh my gosh. Would you just look at that big old hunk of metal sitting in the backyard, about ready to cremate that bullseye, about ready to make these pork butts just so delicious. Oh my God. All right. I'm the one that's going to be up for a while tonight. Because you know what that BFG has that that bullseye does not have? It's wireless. That's all right, though, because I kind of work at night as it is. So both of these pork strollers, what are they? Let's see what they are. Oh, they don't tell me nothing. This one's that does. Both of these are, are pork, pork shoulder picnics, and they're both about eight and a half pounds, all right? Oh my gosh. You know what I'm gonna need? Highly more of this. And I got more, so it's okay. I got a whole nother bucket. First, we gotta put some vinegar on it. Look at that. That foo-foo vinegar. So this is apple cider vinegar. And, ooh. Look at that. All right, let me go get a little bit more apple juice to polish the top of this. There you have it. I got all my stuff, it's magic. All right, I'm going to add some ice to the top. Look, that's all it's getting, all right? That's what it, I like this stuff. I'm going to bring this. That's enough. All right. I'm going to bring this up. Oh, look at that. Maybe it's not going in the refrigerator yet, guys. It's got, it's got to do with business, but I want to take this eventually. I'm going to put it in my fridge. We'll see you later on tonight. We got more work to do with this thing. All right, guys. I got my pork out. It's almost time to put them in. That bullseye. I don't know what's wrong with it. It just jumped down to 186. It was at uh, 225. The winner of this battle, the BFG, it's at 221. It'll get there. It's fine. It's a, it's a big chamber to heat up. This pork, we got to do equal parts to it. All right, it was at 186, now it's at 206. That's all right. All right, honey mustard. All right, I put it all over it. First, I gotta get it down to the bottom. All right, best way to get down to the bottom, shake it on down. All right, look at that. All right. We're gonna try to do everything equal here. The lid fell off again, damn it. All right, everything equal. We'll just stick that there right there for right now. Everything's gonna be equal. The best we can at least. Best I can. Let's be honest about it. You ain't gonna taste this know-how. That's not important to us. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. You gotta rub a butt. Let me tell you what, if you like that ass. I'm sorry. If you like that butt, you gotta rub it. Channel long enough. You know what I love? I love me some Obey. Well, let's get some Obey on there.
If you like me and you like good food, you know what we're talking about. You like a little heat. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. All right. Get it. Just get it lightly, 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 lightly. Mmm, 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 mmm. Trust me. For amount of, amount of pork that's on here, that's light. All right, so well now, we gotta let this sit. It's gonna be here for like the next five minutes. So let it sit, it's cold outside. Shit, it's 30, 38 degrees outside, all right? So let that sit out here. We'll be back in five minutes. All right guys, here goes the best part. So we got pork, each one is about eight and a half pounds, right? Each one is gonna go into a rack tech. This guy here, he's gonna go into the bullseye. That guy over there, he's going to BFG, all right? I'm taking the glove off for that. All right guys, let's see what time it is. 10 minutes to one, 10 minutes to one. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna get some apple juice. Mix it up with some apple cider vinegar. Maybe around three o'clock in the morning, I come out here and I, I spray it. I bring y'all back. I let you look. Just me. Oh my goodness! Look at that. It's about three ten, right? Let's give it a little spritz. It's first spritz of the night, right? Mm, 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 mm. Grab it underneath just a little bit. My awesome one-handed camera work. Hmm. All right, that's the BFG. Let's go look at this one. Let's look at this bullseye. Oh my good, this is probably the one everyone wants to see too. The one I don't think is going to turn out as well. Hmm. Give it a little spritz. We got to get it good. There we go. There we go. All right. It's got its spritz. It's not looking so bad. It's looking pretty good. The one in the bullseye is about 103 degrees. The one down here, let's see what it's at. It's at 99 degrees in the bullseye. Over here, I hope you all can see it. It's at 103 in the BFG. All right, YouTube. It's, uh, it's 9, 10 in the morning, right? It's about 65 degrees out here. All right? My internal meat temperature on the bullseye is 165. Hoorah. And there's this spritz. It's looking pretty good. Jessica, get around there. Look at it. Hurry up. Don't worry about this side. Oh my gosh. All right, there you go, YouTube. Let's go over the BFG. BFG's internal temperature is 153. 153 on the BFG. Mmm. Mmm. Just look at it. All right, come on, get up out of there. All right, guys, it's 2.35 in the afternoon. The probe on the uh, bullseye, it's reading about, I don't know, 196, right? We don't go by that. We're gonna go and we're gonna probe it, you know? I, re I really don't care what this temperature reads on this guy. I know, I know it's up there. But for all you guys, Rectex says, 196. This Thermal Pro is 192 over here, and this, this is 195 over here. But what we're really, really looking for is how easy that goes in and out. All right, it's pretty easy, and it tastes pretty good too. So, you gotta get your gloves on for this one. All right, cheapest thing Amazon has to offer is these gloves. All right. Mmm, butter, baby. Oh, it wants to stick? That's all right. Why is that all right? Because that's just the skin at the bottom. We really don't care too much about that skin. Oh my God, it's pulling coming off the grill. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's see, that's mine. Get back there where you belong. 
All right, well, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to uh, clean this grill, too, as we go, I guess. It's dirty like that. You take your probe out. You put this big mamma jam in Mariah mode. All right. I'm going to tell you, too. So far, it really hasn't touched too much of the pellet. All right. Put it in Mariah mode, let it go. We're going to make a bowl of our tinfoil. What do we do for everything else? Just look at that. That's the skin. You know, we really don't even need the skin. Here, let me just put that skin over here. All right, I don't need the skin. Well, at least we know it's gonna pull. Is that skin too? Oh, that is skin, but we're gonna leave that in there for now. Let me make a, make a bowl here. So out the bowl, we're gonna put some apple juice. All right. Well, this is butter, though. We're going to put the butter in first. What I don't see down here anywhere? The plastic wrap. Where's the plastic wrap at? Boy, you better run. Apple juice. They don't need all this juice, but I got it in there anyways. Mm, mm, mm. Behind me, I think you can see the smoke coming off of that, uh, the bullseye. It should be pretty heavy. It probably looks really cool on that camera, too. In riot mode. This line, that, that up back there. Mm. Mm. I bet you there's a fire in there right now. But, it's gonna come clean, boy. Yes, sir. It's gonna come clean. Yes, sir. Hey, just come on over here. Point that camera down so you can see that. This thing here, it about to puff all its own. Oh, Inside boy. That grill. Well, they're burning off all that grease from last night. I tell you what, though, it's turning off. It's turning off good. You got my plastic wrap now? What? I bet you that's how it's a motherfucker back there right now. All right, guys. Well, we turned out the, the bullseye. All right. I'm guessing all that grease is in there. It's still on fire. It's okay, though. That fire was huge. All right. You know what we just did, Jess? We made fire great again. Yes, sir. We did. You do not want to be on that camera and save your life, do you? You don't want the fire in the background either? You don't want the fire? You can't bring me a towel because you don't want to be here with the fire? We're going to open it again, too. We got to see more fire. There's a fire over there, everybody. We ain't got no time for that. You ain't got no time for this fire over here? Come on, Jess. You can be in the picture. Look at it over there, all that smoke. There's a fire over there. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this up. I wanna see what kind of fire are we still working with. Let me put on my welding gloves for this fire, boy. Mm, it was high last time. We ready, Jess? Do you think it's still on fire? Mmm. Man. I tell you what, though, that's going to brush off really easy. Right, YouTube. You know what? In the words of Snoop Dogg, it's starting to drizzle, my nizzle. All right. So, realistically, we don't got a whole lot of time here. We're going to get this pork butt on up out of here. I've already probed it. I was waiting to pull it out for the camera. It's time to go with it. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some butter on it. All right. It's the tenth of a pound, man. The tenth of a pound cost me like an extra four hours to cook. 
So I gotta tell you, this one looks just as good as the other one. All right, well, I'm gonna put it in the cooler. I'm gonna wrap it oh, in you do. So we're back, we're inside now, right? And these kids are gonna be our judges. So off camera, I shredded them both. I kept track of which one was which throughout the entire time. And I've gotta tell you, we're in for a surprise, at least in my opinion so far. All right, so guys, this is on the left, on my left, on the camera, I don't know, but the boy in the picture, that's my son, Michael, all right? Michael's 12 years old. Michael, a little bit of a brace face right now, a little bit of a metal, metal head. So we're lucky there's no magnets in this food. That's Samantha on the right. Samantha's qualifications are, she's a little bit of a bacon strip. She likes to eat some bacon, all right? She likes the pork, all right? So, let's see. Let's see which one we're gonna think is better. So, I don't care which one you grab first, just don't change the order they're in. And then you grab it first, man. you tell me, eat. Michael, you eat too. They each one go for different sides, ladies and gentlemen. Put, put just a bite in your mouth, just a bite. Oh, oh, look at that, I said just a bite. This, this dude acts like it's spaghetti noodles. Come on, just a bite. Come on, act like you've never eaten before. Both of you. All right. Stop. No, no, keep on eating. <laughs> Green light. All right. You guys going to swallow anytime soon? I said a bite. You think this is your last meal. This dude over here had spaghetti. Like, he had pork driven down his chin like it was spaghetti noodles. All right. All right, guys. Which one did we try the first? All right, now we're gonna pick the other side. All right, our mouths are empty. Mm -hmm. All right, pick the other side. All right, chew, 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 hoorah, and swallow. All right, so Michael, which one's better? This one. That one's better. Yes. All right, Samantha, which one's better? Really? <laughs> hey, mommy. They both think BFG's better. The dry one. I think that's bullshit. All right, listen up here. Michael, do you know how much harder the BFG was to pull? The BFG, when I went to shred it up, didn't want to shred very well. All right, and it felt dry. But you like that better. Was it dry? No, this one was dry for me. Samantha, was yours dry? This one was dry, this one was dry. Really? Yes. So the BFG wasn't dry, although it felt dry pulling it. It was hard to pull too. It didn't want to come apart. But the other one w was dry for you. And I bet, which one had more flavor? This one, this one. This one really? Yeah. This one is a little bit less. I'm going with my bull. So the BFG is better than the bullseye? It also costs more. Yeah. I don't care which one costs more. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, which one do you taste more smoke in? This one, I'd also add some No way. Alright, so the one on the BFG didn't look as good as the one on the bullseye. And I was, I, I tasted them both myself. And I tasted bark though. I didn't get the actual meat, right? I just tasted the bark. Actually, I put a little skin in my mouth. Alright, and I was kind of leaning towards the bullseye, but you know, the kids approved. The kids tested, kids approved. They liked the one from the BFG. It's a little harder to pull. Um, the meat sat in the grill for a little bit longer. I thought it was going to be drier. They like it better. There you go. We got to eat. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye. Michael, you're not going to wave bye? Boy, let me tell you what.